Hey guys, so in this video, if you guys haven't already seen the title of the description, we're actually going to create a Raspberry Pi that has voice recognition. It's going to be a Raspberry Pi 4 and it's going to be cool. So if you guys are excited, stick around for this video and let's get started. All right, guys, so what are you going to need? You're going to need a Raspberry Pi 4 right here and a micro SD card. This is that right there, micro SD card. You're going to need a mouse. A keyboard uh, this is a Raspberry Pi keyboard that I brought uh, I recommend this if you guys uh, want a low-profile keyboard and uh, if you have your own you can use your own keyboard it has to be a USB keyboard you're gonna need a USB audio interface here I'll leave a link to everything I show you in the description with a mic see that's the mic that's attached to it so this is the USB audio extension here and uh, you're gonna need a and you're also gonna need a power supply uh, this is the official Raspberry Pi power supply. Uh, I recommend this. If you have your own, use your own. Everything I show you will be linked in the description. All right, so one thing I want to tell you guys. Uh, we're not actually going to show you how to install Raspbian on a Raspberry Pi. The way I see it is if, if, you're, uh, if you're wanting to uh, dabble with voice recognition, then you should be able to definitely install Raspbian. I did, uh, I did upload a video a while back where I showed everybody how to upload Raspbian onto an SD card. And that's pretty simple, but again, I'm not gonna do that in this video. All right, so right here on the right, the first thing you're gonna see is I have this uh, Pi document open. This is pretty much all the code, all the Python code we're gonna need for this project. So uh, the, the one thing I want you guys to do first is make sure you connect your internet, make sure your internet's connected to your Raspberry Pi. I have mine connected. I have a, a Wi-Fi network that is connected. The Wi-Fi or internet link is right here. This is the symbol. So make sure yours is connected. Then the second thing you're gonna need to do is make sure you connect your sound card, your USB sound card that you purchased connected to the Raspberry Pi with the microphone. So to make sure that it's connected, you just right click this audio symbol or this audio icon here, right click it and make sure it's a USB audio device checked off. So that that's that right there. The next step is to open up a terminal. And in the terminal, we're gonna type in A-L-S-A-M-I-X-E-R, right? So after that, we're gonna type in F6. Then we're gonna go down to where it says USB audio devices. We're gonna hit enter. Now we, we wanna make sure you, you put down uh, the value for your mic. You want to put it down to uh, like right up on this level. And I also did it to my speakers to put it down at this level. If you don't do that, if you keep it at the highest level, it's gonna, uh, it's not gonna work right when we're, uh, when we're speaking the commands onto the mic. So make sure you put this audio level down. So I'm just gonna click out of this. Now we're gonna open up terminal again. All right, so the first uh, package we're gonna install is something called speech recognition. So we're gonna type in P IP, right? Hit space, install, I N S T A L L S P E E C H, then uh, R E C O G N I T I O N. So you got to make sure that uh, the S is capital and then the R is capital here. Then we're going to hit enter. We're going to let it do its thing. Once it's done, we're going to come right back. All right, the next step is to install Pi Audio. So we're going to type in down here, sudo, S-U-D-O, hit space. We're going to type in apt hyphen g-e-t app get space install, I-N-S-T-A, install dash y space. Then we're going to type in p-y-t-h-o-n python 3 dash pi a u d i o so we're gonna hit enter we're gonna let it do its thing once that's done we're gonna move on to the next step so now the next step is to install flack flack is google's thing it's what's led us to convert our words into like uh text so flack is very important for this so we're gonna type in sudo space a p t dash G-E-T, app get, install, oh wait, I typed it wrong, sorry. 
it, it's a p t dash g e t in space install f l a c flack then we're gonna hit enter we gotta let it do its thing and then uh once everything's done we're gonna actually test out the program to make sure that it works so right here i'm gonna close terminal so i'm gonna open up this python document here so what we're gonna need to do is i'm gonna leave uh, a link somewhere in the description either it will be a link to this actual python document or i'll have a link to like a website i haven't figured that figured that out yet but you'll see it so uh whatever way you get that link we're gonna first open up this up here or click on this uh raspberry pi icon go to programming i like to use idle i-d-l-e right that's the python ide for raspbian i'm gonna click on that and uh, I'm gonna click on either, if it's a file that I, uh, that I have downloaded, if it's a file that I have linked in the description, click on open and search for that file, right? But if, it, if you're just copying text that I uh, posted somewhere, then what you can do is you're gonna type in file, new file. Uh, you're gonna start, you're gonna, you're gonna copy. Let me just show you. You're gonna, you, you would copy whatever onto here then you would just hit file save as right uh whatever name you want to call it don't type in dot pi it's going to do that automatically for you just type in the name you want to call it save it whatever uh save it wherever you want to save it and hit save so once that's done right you're going to have this pretty much opened up so i'm going to open that up again so up here we imported a few things we imported speech recognition as sr we, uh, from the date and time, we imported a date. From GPO, uh, from a GPIO zero, we imported LED. Um, this is uh, to let us mess with, mess around with the GPIO settings later on. And uh, these are here, oh, we're not gonna do this in this video, we might do it in another video. But if you guys know how to mess around with the GPIO pins and get this part to work, I do. But uh, we're just going to, uh, in this video, uh, talk and then have it uh, print out the text. We're not going to do this part. It's left in here because we might do it in another video. What we're going to do is uh, whatever we, we uh, see in the mic, it's going to be printed out on the console. So now uh, all we have to do is hit run, all right? Hit run module. And it's it typed in hello first. So now I'm going to talk. Say, hello, my name is Rissim. Car. Man, so as you can see, you know, it was able to uh, record our, vo our our voice. It recognized our voice, and then it printed it out onto the console. So what you can do with this, what we're going to do with this later on, is you use a bunch of if, else, or if statements. So you could say if the word is equal to LED, then you could have it uh, turn on an LED, or if it's equal to, let's say, today's date, like this, this this code here it's gonna print out today's date. So if so if I said today, it would print out today's date. You see, recognize that it was today, and it printed out today's date. We imported the date. Uh, we imported the date here, and uh, we have code down here. If word is equal today, like what I said, I said today, it prints out today's date. All right, so guys, that's pretty much it for this video. So this is just the, the first part. The reason I, I created this video first is because I, I'm incorporating this into my Jarvis AI program. So this is the first step to get Jarvis AI to work. So this I thought would be interesting for you guys. Uh, you guys should, you know, should have fun messing around with this, you know, getting other, uh, getting different things to work out. As you can see, it just kept uh, recording whatever I said here. So that's why I left it on to the side here. So, uh, so I hope to see you guys soon and that's it for this video.